Welcome to Don Hammond's Arlington Weekly News. I'm Inga Middleton, standing in for Craig Nolan tonight. And I'm Daniel Pineda. My name's Adele Quo. We've got a great news story for you tonight. Absolutely, Inga. We're so excited that you're here. Thank and thank you. you. Welcome back. So nice we, to be here. And we have our news stories. We can't forget Adele and It's, it's Easy Being Green. Green. And we can't forget our CBB stories, right, Indo? Exactly. Thank you, Daniel. We also have Denise Pringle with A Few Good Men, as well as the Seniors News. Okay. And then we have Miriam Gennari, our very own Miriam Gennari, interviewing Gilles Bernard, a oh, artist. Yes. And uh, also we have Daniel with our social media reminder. First of all, India, I really liked how you pronounced that. Oh, it sounded yes. legit. <laughs> it sounded really good. Yeah, well, French <laughs> accent. <laughs> I like that. It helps seven years of French. <laughs> well, our yeah. social media reminder, you can watch the Arlington Weekly News on our very own YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash Arlington Weekly News and the number one. Also, Facebook.com slash Arlington Weekly News. And Inga, we can't forget the radio. That's uh, WERA Radio 96.7 FM. Thank you, Daniel. Wonderful. So, with the news, we have in the 1919 case of Schenck versus United States, Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes Jr. argued the most stringent protection of free speech would not protect a man in falsely shouting fire in a theater and causing a panic. This is one of the most famous legal quotes and is commonly understood to prohibit any false attempts to cause a panic in a public area. Now, 100 years later, someone in Arlington has actually tried it. Daniel. <clears throat> Well, that's right, Inga. The Arlington County Police has completed an investigation of an incident that occurred on Saturday, September the 14th. A juvenile male reportedly entered a theater playing the movie It, Chapter 2, and shouted that there was a shooter. Police were dispatched to multiple emergency calls at 8.30 p.m. and conducted a search of the entire Boston Quarter. They concluded that there was no evidence of a shooting. However, one individual suffered a minor injury while attempting to flee the building. Patrons who left personal items behind should call to retrieve them at 703-558-2222. Anyone with additional information about this incident should call 1-866-411-TIPS or 1-866-411-8477. Ingo. Thank you, Daniel. It's very scary, don't you think? So, the section of Arlington's Custis Trail that passes under Interstate 66 will be closed for a year. The underpass leads directly into a section of the Bon Air Park. Walkers, runners, and cyclists will need to use an alternate route. Westbound travelers can turn left at the Kensington Street overpass before the downhill and follow it around before it descends to the park. Eastbound travelers can continue in a straight line as they pass the closed section, going uphill until turning right to reach the same loop at Kensington Street. Daniel. Well, Inga, on to our other news stories for tonight. Some internet notices suggested that duck pin bowling might finally be returning to Arlington after an absence of over 30 years. The last, last duck pin alley in Arlington was called Play More Lanes, and it was boasted 40 lanes, all duck pins, during its heyday in the 1960s and 70s. Now we have Punch Bowl Social in Boston Quarter, which advertises bowling, including some, something called mini bowling. No, it's not truly duck pin bowling. The lanes are much shorter and narrower. 
but the balls are about duck pin size, so if you want to practice your form between the tips to the real duck pin centers in Maryland, it's certainly convenient. There are also some 10 pin lanes on the third floor, which are regulation size, although the pins are attached to streams. And now we have Adele Quo with It's, it's easy, easy Being Green. green. Fantastic. Thank you, Thank you for the warm welcome. Of course. <laughs> so everyone, it's time for another It's Easy Being Green. My name is Adele Quo, and our mascot, Joe Tree Frog and Friends, joins us to announce a fall fantastic family-friendly activity for kids of all ages interested in trees and replenishing our forests. As the leaves fall, the nuts and seeds drop too. On Saturday, September 28th from 1 to 3 p.m., forage for acorns and other tree seeds with Eco Action Arlington at Lubber Run Park. The address is 200 North Columbus Street. Please wear sturdy shoes and bring a reusable water bottle. Register online at ecoarlington.org and look for registration seed collection for re reforestation projects. EcoAction, in coordination with the Potomac Conservancy's Growing Native Program, will identify trees and their seeds during the collection and then bag and label them for transport to the Virginia Department of Forestry, that's VDOF. Collected seeds are sent to VDOF nurseries to be grown into tree seedlings, which are then used in our native forest restoration projects. Join this treasure hunt event and get nuts for clean water. If you've wondered what to do with the annual attack of the oak trees, signaled by that sharp thwack on your roof, followed by a bump, bump, bump sound of the orc or acorn storming your roof, since September and October is the best time to collect acorns and seeds in most of Virginia, you can donate all those acorns to the Virginia Department of Forestry. Every year, homeowners from all over the state donate their acorns and other seeds from their yards to help VDOF continue to produce high quality seedlings for Virginia landowners. You can bring the seeds to your local forestry office. That's located at 12055 Government Center Parkway, Suite 904 in Fairfax, Virginia. Phone number 703-324-1489. There are other positive ways to use all those acorns. Instead of raking and getting rid of them, you can harvest them because they're edible. Acorns are high in fiber, complex carbohydrates, vitamins, and minerals. They're relatively low in fat compared to other nuts, but rather bitter. So there are five ways to try to enjoy acorns after leaching out those bitter tannins. First, you can roast them, roasted acorns. Second, you can make acorn brittle instead of peanut brittle. Or try some acorn bread, acorn cookies, and acorn coffee. Acorns have a wonderful, rich, nutty taste. You can make a nutrient-rich, nutty flavored flour or some cornmeal-like substance for the breads and cakes and pancakes. So acorns are great for making crafts, wreaths, and other home accent decorations. So don't let all those acorns drive you nutty. Do something mm -hmm. useful with them. And remember, it's easy being green. Thank you, Adele. I Thank never you. knew about the ways we can use <laughs> acorns. Yes, well, they do seem to make a lot of uh, acorn litter on they your yard. Yes. So I was definitely surprised to find all those different ways. <laughs> so now we have community bulletin yes. board. Thank you very much. We're going to go ahead and go on with the uh, Does Your Child Love Music? If so, this is the perfect event for them. Clarendon's Market Commons will be hosting Mr. Skip as part of their free kids concert Fridays. Based out of Washington, D.C., Mr. Skip has been entertaining and engaging children with his music and kid-friendly sense of humor for over 40 years. Any child celebrating a birthday will also receive a coupon for a free scoop from Nice Cream. This is taking place on Friday, September 27th from 10.30 to 11.15 a.m. at Market Common Clarendon, 
2800 North Clarendon Boulevard. Daniel. You can't beat free, right? You can't beat free. For an ice cream. Exactly. <laughs> Well, Inda, anybody who enjoys riding their bike and reading a, a good book will feel perfectly at home with this next event. Bike Arlington and Arlington County Library are hosting a monthly bike book club with the September meeting right around the corner. The club begins with a healthy bike ride through Arlington, followed by a thought-provoking discussion of Esther Perel's mating in compa uh, uh, capa captivity, captivity at Westover Library, Capital Bite Share Bites will be available near the meeting point, and don't forget to bring your helmet. You won't be allowed to ride without one. This is all happening on Saturday, September the 28th, from 9.30 a.m. to uh, 12 p.m. That's at the Clarendon Metro Station, located at 3100 Wilson Boulevard. Awesome. Say that 10 times. That was a <laughs> mouthful, right? Yes. <laughs> so thank you, Daniel. The Arlington Artists Alliance is teaming up with, a local, with local artists to host this event, an open house style tour of their workspaces, creative process, and more. You will be able to get a behind the scenes look at how art is created while meeting the artists and enjoying their creations. This free event is happening on Saturday, September 28th and Sunday, September 29th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. at Arlington Artists Alliance, 2100 Crystal Drive, Suite 2120 A. Daniel. Thank you, Inka. Well, need help with your job search? Want somebody to look over your resume or cover letter? Then this is the event for you. There will be plenty of tips on the job searching process from finding jobs to applying and yes, even following up. You can also book an appointment for a one-on-one -on -one session while you're there. This is all happening on Monday, September the 30th from 12 to 1 p.m. That's at the Wilson Room at the Arlington Central Library. That's located at 1015 North Quincy Street. And Inda, as always, we want to thank our own Jordan Kuharski for this week's CBB Stories for his hard work awesome. and certainly his dedication. Yes, absolutely. And we also have a roll-in from Denise Pringle, A Few Good Men. And then we've got the senior news. So, no doubt. Take it away, De uh, Denise. For their second production of the season, the Little Theater of Alexandria has chosen A Few Good Men, written by Aaron Sorkin. It is a military courtroom drama that tells of the court-martial of two Marines accused of killing a fellow Marine as they served at Guantanamo Bay Naval Base in Cuba. Director Kathleen Barth dedicates her work on this project to several family members who have served in the U.S. military. Lieutenant J.G. Daniel Caffey, a lawyer known for his plea bargaining skills, has been assigned to defend the two accused Marines, Lance Corporal Harold Dawson and Private First Class Loudon Downey. His defense team is joined by Lieutenant Commander Joanne Galloway, who outranks him and feels that he is not capable of handling their defense. They and a third member of the team, Lieutenant J.G. Sam Weinberg, suspect a conspiracy led by the commanding officer, Colonel Nathan Jessup. They set out to define Code Red and discover the truth about the murder of Private First Class William Santiago. Brendan Quinn is Daniel Caffey, no stranger to the LTA stage, has bravely taken on his most challenging role to date. He easily portrays Coffey's boyish charm, self-deprecating manner, and flirtatious behavior with Joanne. He also commands the stage when he stands up to David Kimmelman's authoritative Nathan Jessup and demands the truth. Kimmelman delivers the heralded line, you can't handle the truth, with all the necessary bravado and conviction. Emma Westland as Joanne, the only woman in this story, shows the steely resolve of a woman in uniform, held to a higher standard than her male peers, while she pushes Caffey to believe that the two Marines deserve more than his plea bargaining skills. They deserve his best efforts to prove their innocence. Jonathan Mulberg as Sam rounds out the defense team 
and acts to remind the other two that they are actually on the same side and need to work together. A Few Good Men plays at the Little Theatre of Alexandria through September 28th. I wholeheartedly suggest you see this fine production as it strives to accurately depict military protocol while delivering the witty dialogue used to tell this gripping story with its unexpected and intense climax. I'm Denise Pringle, now back to the news desk. Thank you so much, Denise, as her review of A Few Good Men. And she really gets so into it, right, she Inga? Does. Very intense. Very passionate, and right. I love the photos. She's a real pro. And some of those guys look like, you know, that guy looked like Tom Cruise. Real, real authentic, yeah. I thought, except for the little tummy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're now on to our senior stories for tonight, Inga. So, no doubt, you've seen the art buses all over Arlington and perhaps wondered how to use them and where they go. Here's an opportunity to take a free ride and learn the routes and get tips on being a pro at using public transit. Ken Matthews from Arlington County Commuter Services will share insider details. The program will be in, also be in Spanish. That's coming up on Thursday, September 26th at 11 a.m. at the Arlington Mill Community and Senior Center, located at 909 South Dinwiddie Street. To register, call 703-228-7369. Daniel. Well, now on to our second senior story for tonight. You can learn what benefits you need and how to compare different types of burial and final expense insurance from insurance broker David, that's David Bikoff. He will review guidelines from Virginia's Bureau of Insurance and the National Association of Insurance Commissioners. That's on Friday, September the 27th at 11 a.m. That's at the Walter Reed Community and Senior Center and located at 2909 16th Street South. To register, give them a call at 703-228-0955. Thank you, Daniel. Would you like to hear about a day in the life of an Arlington <coughs> County police officer, Corporal Beth Lennon will be discussing aspects of her day serving the county's residents and visitors. That will be on Thursday, September 26th at 11.30 a.m. at the Lee Community and Senior Center located at 5722 Lee Highway. To register, call 703-228-0. Five five five, And now you, Daniel. Absolutely, Inja. Well, a staff member from Arlington County's Department of Human Services will meet with seniors to answer questions about services available within the county. She can also help residents apply for services such as affordable housing or citizenship. One-on-one -on -one appointments are available on Thursday, September the 26th, between 9.30 and 11 a.m. That's at the Walter Reed Community and Senior Center, and that's located at 909 South Dinwiddie Street. To make an appointment, give them a call at 703-228-0955. Inga. Thank you, Daniel. Aurora Hills Senior Center is celebrating National Senior Center Month with a free indoor picnic. There will also be a showcase highlighting ongoing programs and activities at the center. Representatives from many of the center's activity groups will be on hand to answer questions. The senior public is invited and three attendees could win a one year 55 plus membership. The event will take place on Friday, September 27th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Aurora Hills Community and Senior Center located at 735 18th Street South. For more information, call 703-228-5722. And thanks to Judy Misabni for this week's Senior Stories, as always. And now we have Miriam Gennari and her guest, Gilles Bernard, artist. Enjoy. 
Bonjour, and welcome to The Sustainable Scoop. I'm Miriam Gennari, and today I am honored to have a visitor from France. He is an artist, he has a wonderful portfolio, and he brought it from France. Welcome, mm. Gilles Bernard. Thank you, Miriam. Thank you. Welcome. So, uh, I, if people, I think your style is very new and exciting, but yeah. um, what would you compare uh, your style to in, in artists that we know? Um, uh, like it's Jackson new, Pollock. No, it's a new painting, but uh, of course I, um, I, um, Picasso. Uh, it's complicated. It's, like, it's complicated. It's very complicated. But it's new. It's a new technique on plexiglass, and uh, I, I, I have impressed by uh, Picasso, Botero, also uh, an artist like this, and also the manga. And also the the cartoon. It, yes, it's, uh, yes. It's, it's, and it is a combination of all of those influences. Yes, in combination of these artists. Yes. But the inspiration is the Petit Prince or the Little Prince. Yeah. Tell me why. Um, in my heart, I imagine a little boy who I call him um, Mr. Fabulous. Mr. Fabulous. Yes, yes, Mr. Fabulous. He dreams uh, of um, many things, and uh, he reads uh, the Little Prince of Saint-Exupéry, Le Petit Prince, en français, de Saint-Exupéry. Yes, yes. And he, um, in his dreams, he is everything from a pilot to a ship's yeah, captain. Yes, yes, he wants uh, every dream like this. Yes, he's true. Yeah. And so um, you have not painted your whole life. You say now maybe 20 years you've been painting and doing working with sculpture? I begin by the sculpture, yes. I make the, 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 little, oh. the little sculpture first. And after, I, um, I make the painting in, because I want to honor the Mr. Saint-Exupéry in my painting. Yes. yes, yes. Well, there's a lot of excitement in Washington, D.C., and also, surprisingly, in Middleburg, Virginia. You're yes. going to be exhibiting your work here in the United States. Yes, because in France now we have problem with uh, the people, with uh, the yellow shirt. Uh, you, you know the yeah, yellow shirt? Yeah, the yellow shirt shirts. There's protests yeah, around they protest. the world. Yes, yes, yes. yes. In France, it's very difficult now to expose or to make an exhibition because uh, it's near where the, the protests are in France. Yes, oh, yes. the art district where there are so many galleries. Mm. So what has your experience been here in the United States? So I, maybe I can expose in uh, DC Art Club, uh, also um, in the Middleburg Burn Gallery, yes. Monday or Tuesday, I expose here, yeah, yes. And the Torpedo Factory? The torpedo in the next uh, week, yes, also. And I, I hope to go also in New York City in the September to yes. show my painting. Yeah. Yes, I think a lot of people have lost the ability to dream. And as I look at your artwork, I look at mm -hmm. the color, and yeah. I look at the character, and really, um, because it seems multimedia in a way, you have the inspiration mm -hmm. in the back, and then you have the, the young boy's dream that perhaps one day. Mm -hmm. um, I, I am disappointed that there is not a, a miss Fabulous. Miss Fabulous. I work <laughs> about it, but uh, now I am. I work with Mr. Fabulous first. Yes, yes. yes, yes. Well, my good friend Patricia Gavin, yes, who I brought you that. here. Yes, yes, yes. She met you in Cannes. Yes, exactly. Right? Yes. You were you were displaying your artwork there. She is Miss mm. Fabulous. Yes, yes. And I believe like. you did a little painting <laughs> of her. Yes, yes. Right? Yes. That's correct. Yes. Yes, yes. So perhaps, um, and you can do contract work while you're in the United States. So if somebody is interested in a mural yeah. or they're interested in um, having you come and display your art as an inspiration for a party or a gathering, yes, exactly. you would be happy Good. to do that. Mm. And now your um, projects that you're working on right now, you brought five paintings with you from with, France. Yes, from France to, to show here. Yeah. To show and to yeah, sell. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, maybe. So of you'd like, of course. So, so <laughs> we could create some Gilles Bernard collectors here in the yes, United States. Yes, yes. And then when you're back in France, you can do commissioned work. Yes, I can uh, prepare a show in France also, in Lyon and Paris, yes, uh, when I come back. 
Yes. Well, you've been doing shows in Paris in the past, but when you get back... I, I think it's possible now. Yes, 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 yes absolutely. And so if we miss you here in the United States, they can contact you yeah. um, by your email. What of is your course. email? My email is bergil, 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 01, aol .com. Wonderful. And they yes. can reach you right now in the United yes. States mm. or when you get back to France? It's the same. No problem. Okay. And in the meantime, I want them to look for you at the Middleburg uh, Museum. Mm -hmm. Middleburg, yeah. Yes, the D Torpedo Factory. Torpedo Factory, yes. yes. And the DC Art Club. DC Art Club, What yes. an honor. Yes. I love the DC Thanks. Art Club, so I am so excited <laughs> to go there and see your work. I okay. dream one day. Okay. Maybe. Good. You are fabulous. <laughs> I am fabulous. You saw me in my styrofoam yes, yes. suit. You know I'm fabulous. Yes. Well, you're yes. fabulous, too. And yes. Très everybody, bien. everybody is fabulous Ev when, when they dream. When they dream. Like the little boy. Like the little Not prince. Not like the dream about uh, money, about house, about a beautiful girl. No, like a little boy. Yeah, because okay? a little boy doesn't dream about selfish things. No. <laughs> he dreams big, yes, hopeful of things. Yes, Good. Well, thank you so much, Gilles Bernard, thank for you, coming Maya. to see us. Thank it was you. a pleasure. Yes, me also. Enjoy your time in the United States. Yeah, yes, thank you. And I hope to see you in Paris. Yes, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> And I want to thank all of you for watching this edition of The Sustainable Scoop. I'm Miriam Gennari. Back to the news desk. Thank you, Miriam. She is great. And fabulous. very modest. <laughs> very modest, Miriam, modest. And she is fabulous. <laughs> so we also have uh, Daniel with have some great news about yes. our very own Mary Fantuccio. Mary Fantuccio, yes, Mary our Fantuccio. own Mary. She's great. She won the bronze medal podium. She went to the podium for the jigsaw puzzle. She has her medal, her bronze medal. <laughs> so congratulations to our own Mary Fantuccio. Awesome, Mary Fantuccio. <laughs> that was at the Summer Olympics. Yes, no, the senior, senior, Olympics. Olympics. senior Olympics. Senior Olympics. Olympics. She's yes. getting ready for next year in the Summer Games jigsaw 2020. Jigsaw puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And we can't forget uh, the AIM fundraiser, which is coming up at the end of the month. So please help us out. And uh, you have some other news, right? Yeah, it's the end of the summer. So sad to say goodbye now. No. So, uh, yeah. All the kids are back to school. We're working hard. I right? know. And the cold is coming. Yes. Winter is a coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's a coming, all right. I'm already getting my jacket out. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's because anyway. it is getting a little bit cooler. It is. Yeah. 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 So you feel it. I felt it in the air. Did you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. we're coming out of the 90s and finally we're getting some cool air now. I know. God, it's crazy. Great weather for tennis. It's going to be 2020 soon. <laughs> mm. Anyway, well, th thank you so much thank for you, joining us, and we'll see you next week. Thank you. <laughs>